Welcome back to another part of this F1 Manager 24 Create a Team Career Mode. In today's episode for the 2028 season, we continue our journey managing Audi Sport with our two old drivers of Behrman and Pato Award. We've got the Monaco Grand Prix coming up, which is always a fun one on this game. And you know what I'm thinking? I'm feeling a chunky big episode today. So let's do Montreal, Zandvoort. And then let's see what other races I fancy. I just fancy playing this game for a, a decent amount of time today uh, and sinking our teeth into this middle part, the European portion of the season. Last time out, well, Ferrari are back on top. Lando Norris got a win for Ferrari. It's Ferrari's, I feel like, first win in like... I'm not even going to lie, maybe like three seasons. Um, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. Something like that. I don't know. Let me know. When was the last time Ferrari won in this series? It may have been season one. Honestly, it may have been. So that is a big change on the horizon. We weren't on the podium in Spain. We did well to get on the podium uh, in Imola, I feel. We almost won the race versus Antonelli, actually, because we, you know, did really well on the tyre saving and we we're pushing him all the way. Lander got a podium there. So Ferrari slowly improving, you know, and this was off the back of obviously that one, two we got on Baku. But yeah, now, now I believe Ferrari genuinely have some pace there and they may be refinding how to win and how to actually be at the top of Formula 1. And that's just in time because this is the R&D chart and they are now officially the best team on the grid. Alpine have taken a bit of a slump. They've not made the most of their car when it was much better than everyone's. And I don't know, maybe the fairy tale for Leclerc leaving Ferrari, going to a different team, switching it up. It wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. And Alpine now are slumping a bit. You can see where we are on the chart, which actually is a, is a testament to, well, I'm going to blow smoke up my own arse here a little bit, but for how we've been managing, how I've been managing the team. We've been doing very very well to still keep this sort of lead in a Constructors' Championship and to keep Behrman in the fight because Arava Archer GP and Antonelli should be scoring more points, really. They, Antonelli should be further ahead, I feel, and Arava Archer GP should be right on us for the points. But we have managed things so well. I think we've done a really good job if you look at this R&D chart and just see that we actually should be losing way more points than we actually have been. Uh, at the same time, teams like McLaren have really declined and they started off strong. Same for Porsche. They started off strong and then really declined in comparison to everyone else. So that also helps because they were the ones we were fighting initially. And we've kind of stayed kind of where we are. And they've dropped off and then Ferrari have climbed up. Uh, obviously, Alpine have climbed up. 11 days to Monaco. We've got to make some serious part stuff going on. Right, two of that. Is that going to get done in time? No, rush that. Yeah, rush that. We're going to have to use the money that we've got to good use to make a new suspension part. We need to make a new rear wing as well. Rear wing. I mean, let's take a full inventory. Do we need things? We probably need a new chassis, but I've got too many things on the bubble, have I? Yeah, okay. We've got too many things being made all at the same time, but I think that should cover us for the parts we're missing at the moment. Um, our car, relatively, you can see, yeah, genuinely is getting a bit worse in the season and it could get even worse oh god bloody hell right okay we definitely probably need some upgrades coming in but when's our atr period atr period changes okay so after monaco we can get some upgrades in that's fine that's fine oh the board the board want to attend the race huh they want to attend Monaco. Of course they do. Of course they do. What a great track to pick to come to for the hospitality. Well, well, they're being let out of the shed then, aren't they? For one race here in Audi for the Monaco Grand Prix hospitality. Well, welcome, welcome. Come out of the shed for one, one episode. One race, actually, only one race. Enjoy it whilst it lasts. Factory upgrades coming in, I think. Sponsor plan achieved. That's for... Oh, oh six million! <laughs> Oh my, we're printing money. We are print. Are we sure we're not doing dodgy dealings with this hospitality? Like, are we hosting some mobster boss or something? Six million. Six million dollars. Race simulator's been made. We're back. We're back to 40 million. I cannot believe the amount of money this team generates. We went from... 
Weren't we just at 26 million? Didn't we just go from 26 million to 40? Oh, we're actually printing money and I don't know what to do with it. I actually don't know what to do with it. Let's let's upgrade some more facilities then. Factory, 14 million? Doesn't matter to me. We'll make that back in the next sponsor plan. Yeah, let's go for it. Factory level four. We're going to make this team literally maxed out on everything, it seems, by the end of it. I have never known financials like this. Well, I'm doing a quick inventory of everything. So front wing, we need some more... Side pods, we need more. Heavy rain for Saturday at Monaco. That's going to mix things up. That's also maybe to our benefit. We've done very well at judging when to go out in the wet sessions. And I think that... Did it come in already? We upgraded our weather center, didn't we? I think it may have already been installed. So we should be able to see further along in the weather timeline as well. All right, pause it immediately. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Okay, it's going to be getting a bit drier in the middle of the session. So we need to... Wait and be ready for this. What tires are we going to start on? Inters, is it? Inters, okay. We'll wait. All right, going to go now, I think. I think before everyone goes, let's send them out. Go, go, go. Come on. Let's get ahead of the curve. On to intermediates. I, my heart skipped a beat there. I thought we put them on wet by accident because the Michelin logo on the tire sidewall was blue. Bloody hell. Right. Bear them in out. We'll wait a little bit and then send no ward out. There we go. And then by the time they come round, it will be the driest point, I think. Ooh, I have actually missed. I've, I've missed guy. I, uh, I got put off by how quick it was going on the fast forward. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Better to have space, you know. There's going to be a lot of traffic in a minute. So they've just got a nice clean lap in. We can come back in and go again. Because it doesn't actually take that long to, to do the lap. Lovely. They got space. They got space. That's very good. They've got a good amount of space here, I think. I'm actually liking this strategy here. Behrman's got good pace, good space there. Porsche has gone seven tenths quicker, just showing how much quicker it is in this little period here, which is why we've gone again. Although, to be fair, a lot of other people have gone slower than us. Let's see, let's see. Oh, no, they're all coming in. They're all coming in. They're flying in. The laps are tumbling. The lap times are tumbling. But Behrman comes in with a purple middle. Award towards the, the checkered flag. Checkered line, I should say. Second place. 0 0.058 behind Behrman. Good. That second lap was uh, necessary and was um, very, very, very solid. Leclerc's up there, though. Antonelli, Porcher, Russell. Um, no Ferrari, though. Lap. What is going on here, Ferrari? Giovinazzi's only just gone to P10 there, but he went wide before. What is Lando doing? What is Ferrari doing? You've just won a race. Don't tell me you're going to fumble it off a race win. You've got to get into Q2 at least, Ferrari. Come on. Okay, there we go. I thought they were actually going to bottle the momentum they should have from a race win. Oh, and Albon's crashed. And that's why you go out early. That's why you get the laps in. Albon not having the best time in the Porsche. And Porsche probably not having the best time with him compared to uh, the, the, the much stronger partnership you feel with uh, Russell and Ocon. But Russell obviously going to our team and probably enjoying life a bit more because Porsche, as a car, to be fair as well, has dropped off a little bit. Uh, Red Bull, Jenny got a bit of pace there because Colapinto's right up there in P9, which is good for them. Uh, Leclerc's up there P3, so still trying to, to, to get something out of this season's car in Alpine. But... We're 1-2 in Q1. Wet weather around Monaco. I love it. I love it. Especially in quali. We're able to really call it well um, and manage it well. All right. No point going out now. You can see it's going to get drier at the end. So we'll just wait it out. Seems like most of the entire grid is uh, thinking the same apart from Bortoletto and the McLaren. But going to have that big pack there. Right. There we go. Drivers are off. Maybe a little bit of traffic. Actually, actually, no. Behrman's got a very clean track. Oh, look at this. Bortoletto, the only one there. Behrman, acres of room. Oh, Ward, what are we saying? Yep, same thing. Acres of room. We have absolutely cooked. We've cooked there with the timing. For once in ages, I am actually doing very well at sending them out the right time, I feel, for a nice, clearer track. The water level's as low as it will be in the entire session. So I am hoping these are going to be laps that send them straight to the top. Purple for Behrman. Oward a bit slower. Behrman, top of the session. Oward, give me the second place. Yeah, there we go. And they're doing a second lap. Wow, we are absolutely cooking. We're cooking them today. I want to point out, by the way, this is on 
hard difficulty. I think I said to you guys, we started on normal when we started the series, but I think very quickly within like, I think it was a couple of episodes of like season two and it's been there for the, for the whole time. And I think that's why we've been seeing some quite crazy, you know, leaps for the AI with R&D uh, because the hard setting has been actually very good for R&D wise. But in the races... You know, we're, we're, I don't know if it's, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to like, you know, I, I say like it's all me out managing people and out managing the AI because I don't think I'm actually that great at the game. Uh, I'm sure there are other people, even some of you guys watching that are probably better than me. Um, but we've been, still been able to outdo the hard AI. Yes, I know the rain here is helping us, but I feel like looking back at the R&D chart, we definitely should be being slapped up a bit more than we are right now. Oh, look at that. That's juicy at the end. We'll wait. We'll wait. It's fine. We shall wait. Right, Behrman and O'Ward out. Look at this. Very clean track. Very clean track. Yep, no traffic for either of them on the first lap. They might catch poor chair, depending on how slow he is, but it's looking a lot drier out there. Not as wet as it was definitely at the start of the session. Poor chair is P1 for now, ahead of Leclerc, Antonelli, Norris, the top four. Let's see what we can do, though, on these laps. Purple, I'm liking that. Behrman, uninterrupted lap, goes P1 by 1.5 seconds bloody hell the track evolution is massive there uh, on at the end of the session oh ward with a purple middle sector oh ward crosses the line only second place i thought for a second there with a purple middle he might have actually gone quicker enough in that sector to beat bearman but oh ward pato still very 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 solid one two right now for the team and they're on a second consecutive lap to make the most of the driest conditions possible at the end here but others now also out on track so oh, apart from what are you kidding me Antonelli Norris not out Colapinto is Norris is Gio Bottas so the only people not improving will be Antonelli and, uh, and Norris that's a howler for AAGP and Ferrari they're they're sure I'm calling it now they're going to be P9 and 10 I bet I bet you uh, there, there's a strong, strong thought they're going to be P9 and 10 by the end. Oh, poor chair beats us. The Red Bull has beaten us. And Behrman's crossed the line. O'Ward crosses the line. Green, green, yellow. And he doesn't go quicker. Teo poor chair has beaten us fair and square. And by quite some margin. Nearly half a second quicker in the Red Bull there. And Geo... Oh, no. Oh, no. Did we send them too early? Should we have waited even more to send them? So that second lap was right at the end here because the track is, well, oh yeah, no. See, this has changed. This used to be a lot straighter. I think it's got even drier. So uh, I think Antonelli Norris, P9 and 10 is a good bet. But honestly, we might be joining them just two positions ahead in P8-7. Leclerc now goes quicker. Alpine on for a pole position, maybe. Um, Colapinto still coming through. Bottas as well. Will Bottas ruin the party for the home favourite? Bottas, no, nowhere near. Only P7. Colapinto. What can he do? Come on, mate. Just get higher than P8 to, to make my uh, prediction true. And he, du he splits us. Colapinto split us. But uh, what do I say? Antonelli and Norris, P9, 10. But we're P5 and 7 at Monaco. Okay. Maybe I just jinxed myself talking about the hard difficulty because that's uh, going to be a lot harder now to do something in this race. And wow. I'm, I apologize, Leclerc. I, I thought your, your season was done of maybe being at the front. I was ready just to focus on Ferrari being the new top dog. But Leclerc has cooked. He is P1 in his home race for pole position. Mad. Race strategy, what? Two versus a... Wow. Why are we on a two? Why are we on a two? I don't think two is the way to go. I think let's go... Let's go medium to hard. Yeah, medium to hard. I feel like soft... Soft is only good if you've got the space for it. Like, a la, if you're like pole position. I just... Because we're going to be behind cars. I think medium's the way to go. And then go to hards. Do the one stop. I think Monaco, Monaco is Monaco. It's all about track position. I'm actually not going to go one lap under a fuel because I feel like they've been nerfing how quickly you can save fuel. And around Monaco, 
uh, I, I just don't think um, we don't want to be fuel saving later. I think we're going to need as much performance as we can get consistently through the race. So let's keep them the same amount of fuel. Final checks are being carried out by the teams and it won't be long until we get this race underway. And as the cameras turn to the Williams, we're here and the streets are abuzz at the Monaco Grand Prix. And it's lights out. Here we go, lights out and we're underway. How does Leclerc get off pole position? Will Theo Borger steal it from him into turn one? Doesn't look like it as we focus on Behrman maintaining P5. O'Ward gets Colapinto maybe. Yep, he's got him up into P7. Good stuff there. Sorry, Franco. And uh, we're five and six now, but unable to make a move on Russell. Let's go a bit aggressive at the start here. See if there's anything we can do on the opening lap before we start to cool things down and calm things down. Leclerc, though, leading the way in his home race ahead of Théa Porcher. The Frenchman, not too far away, is France. And then Giovinazzi, third place for Ferrari right now. The lead Ferrari, because Lando's down here in P10. And certainly down in P9. So this is a big opportunity for Behrman. Big opportunity for Behrman. But he's got to try and overtake Antonelli's teammate, Russell, ahead of him. Right, using the fuel, using the fuel. Okay, going to go down to neutral now on the ERS. Go balanced with zero, minus 0 0.2 on the fuel. So we've um, we've used a bit bit of it, but it's fine. Oh, look at the way Leclerc and Porcher are pulling away. Please tell me they're on softs. Leclerc's on mediums. Porcher is on hards, keeping up with him. Are you joking me? Look at the gap from poor chair to Geo. He's here, Geo's only there. Bloody hell, poor, poor chair is actually, that's impressing me more than Leclerc pulling off into the distance on mediums. The fact that poor chair is going for a move nearly on the hard ties in the red ball. I think, you know what? Even though Leclerc leads, I'm calling it now. I think poor chair wins this. The pace he's showing there on the hards, that's scarily good, scarily good. Geo is blocking Russell. And Behrman, well, Behrman's actually blocking uh, O'Ward right now. He's not actually on the back of Russell. What's going on? Where's the base gone? All right, Behrman's heard me a bit. He's closing up slowly back to Russell. There we go. He's right ahead now. So is Geo. So that means I think P3 is on the cards. We could get P3, but 6.8 seconds to these guys. They're so fast. They're so fast. What the hell? Geo's a massive bottleneck here. He's a ma oh, oh, one of our. I mean, by this, by the later in the season, I think the entire grid is going to be our former driver. But Geo, one of our former drivers. Oh, we just cut on live to see an amazing overtake from Behrman on the outside into Casino Square. What a move! Oh, what? Russell's come back at us for the hairpin overtake. What is going on in this race? You've never seen overtakes like it in Monaco. Bloody hell. Please, Behrman. Please. O'Ward as well. We need to get past Geo. Geo is being a massive news. You know what? I think we need to just wreck the tyres. I was saving the tyres to the point where the tyres are getting cold. But now let's just wreck them. We need to overtake. We need to get past. We need to get past these guys. They're being so slow. Incredibly slow. Please, let's cook them. Let's get past. Here we go. Love to see it on the outside. Come on, come on. Yeah, lovely. Angio, Angio. Go on, Behrman. Oh, yes, son. That's what I'm on about. That's what I'm on about. There we go. O'Ward up to P5. It is cooking hour here for Audi. Let's go, let's go. Push, push, push. Look at the amount of pace Behrman's got in clean air. It's ridiculous. O'Ward's up to P4. Okay, you know what? A bit of passion a bit of management passion there, pushing them like a stabbed rat, has worked out for us. Now, we can see what we can do in this clean air. What are these guys' tyres looking like? Okay, we've got better tyre than Leclerc, but he's still ahead of Porcher. So Porcher is still in a very good position. Right, sit rep. Giovinazzi is surprising me. He's staying on the back of O'Ward, quite annoyingly. So he's actually dropped Russell by five seconds. Where was this pace? When, where was this pace at the start of the race, Giovinazzi? Where, where was it? Have you just looked at the Audi team now and thought, oh, it's my old boss. I'll stick with them. They know a good strategy. Where was this pace? You're keeping up with O'Ward, but you, you let poor chair and Leclerc get away. And by the way, poor chair is ahead of Leclerc now on the hards. 
Teo's winning this. He's so quick on hards. This is mad. All right, can we drop Geo, please, O-Ward? Can we use a bit of deploy to drop him? Okay, we're pulling away. Okay, we've broken DRS. That's at least good. That's at least good. And now we're actually closing up to Bearman. That's solid. That's solid. What's a tire wear like? Leclerc 52. Oh, we're at 64. We're very good. We're very good. We can carry on like this, I think. All right, we're gaining on Leclerc now. We're gaining on Leclerc. We're gaining on Leclerc. This is very good. Leclerc's just ahead of us. Leclerc's ahead of us. Behrman's there. Leclerc is in shot for the first time in the same camera shot. Leclerc was there at the hairpin with Behrman. We are gaining. We are gaining. So we could maybe go for second place even. I feel like though P1 is wrapped up like I've said. But let's get P2 for sure. Let's try and secure that. This is very good though for us. Hour of Archer GP in tatters without me. P6 and 7. What are they doing? And what are Ferrari doing? Lando, P9 with fast after the Grand Prix. How did, they, how did they not send him out for another qualifying lap? I'll never know. And here we go. Looking for the move on Leclerc. Let's go deploy. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's get him. Let's cook him. Get him on the inside here. All right, on this straight. On this straight. We got it. We got it. We got it. Go on, go on. Yes, Behrman. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Back to neutral. And then O'Ward, where are you, mate? Let's get you past Leclerc as well if we can. All right, pit window's open. Leclerc probably's going to pit anytime soon. We're still trying to get to the pit window. I have to really calm it down for O'Ward. His uh, tyre... Well, actually, hang on a minute. I've only just realised Behrman's one stop is pitting him a lot earlier than O'Ward, even though he's got worse tyre wear. I think we should pit him. I think we should pit O'Ward soon. Let's just go full out attack with O'Ward because he's not caught up to Leclerc yet. Oh, Leclerc pits. O'Ward's pushing like a stabbed rat. Let's see the last laps. Ignore that. Ignore that. 113.8. Good. Gaining, gaining. Okay, O'Ward's catching up with Behrman now. Let's pit him in earlier. Like we said we would. Right, pit in. Right, Behrman pushing. He's got a bit of tire wear in there, so he can find some pace. 13.5. Bit of traffic to overtake, but it's all right. Keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. Now pit in. Hards, yep, cool. In, save that fuel. O'Ward, oh God, I forgot O'Ward was there. He's behind Leclerc. So O'Ward did not jump. He didn't jump the Alpine. I thought O'Ward would have jumped the Alpine with the undercut, but he's not. And be oh no, what's happened there? Oh, we, we've not only not jumped O'Ward on Leclerc with an undercut, we've now lost Behrman two positions because we went longer. He's not going to be happy with that. <laughs> he should be ahead of O'Ward at least. No, he should be ahead of Leclerc as well. Sorry. He should be ahead of both of them. It's all right. Play the long game. We know, we know that Leclerc's tyres are going to go. We know that. It's a fact. They will go. Russell's now... O'Ward's overtaking Russell. Russell... Now, I didn't even know Russell was in the race that we were doing. What? Has Russell not pit yet? I think that's Russell not pitting yet, right? Because Behrman's about to overtake Russell. Yeah, oh yeah, Russell's not pit yet. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Geo's next. He's not pit yet either. And then Leclerc. Oh, Leclerc's pulled away from Mo Ward a bit. Oh, poor chair's in. Poor chair's in. And he's come out behind. Poor chair is pitting. He's come out behind O Ward. Leclerc actually takes back the lead of the race. I thought poor chair was long gone. But looks like he dropped a bit of pace at the end of the stint on hards. He's now on mediums, though, compared to the rest of us on hards here. Uh, at least in this little window. Lando's... Is, is Lando legit there in P5? Okay, Ferrari. You've actually cooked there. Ferrari have managed to jump Lando ahead of a lot of people up into P5. What a recovery that will be. And if he can continue some good pace, he might even, I don't, I don't know, fancy himself catching us. I don't know. I, I, hope, I hope not for our sake. But this is interesting. So Leclerc is 3.8 seconds ahead of O'Ward, who's just ahead of poor chair. I'm trying to save the tyres for the end of the race, but poor chair is on us on the mediums. I feel like it's inevitable he overtakes this. Behrman's right there. So he's up there. But Lando's done really well to leapfrog everyone. And uh, the AAGP team just really not looking great around here, along with Gio. And there's poor chair. Overtakes this. To be expected. To be expected. It's all right. Oh, yellows. Where? Where? Who? Poor chair's crashed. It's what? Red Bull he just overtook us. Please don't tell me that we had anything to do with it. Oh, oh, the lap car. A lapped, a lapped Williams car just put poor chair in the wall. Has he got a car issue? Has he got damage? This might just give Leclerc a chance to win, but this also gives us a chance maybe if poor chair is out the running because I, I feel like we can catch Leclerc by the end of the race. 
Yeah, if we're smart about the tire wear, but poor chair doesn't look like he's got visible damage. So I think he might be all right, you know, unfortunately for us and for Leclerc. Oh, no. Yeah, he's good. He's good. Purple lap time. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. Red flat. Oh, that changes things a lot. But what's that? Oh, oh, oh it's Russell. Oh, Russell's had a howler. Russell. He's crashed with a Mercedes or an Aston or something. It's a massive pileup. What happened? Oh, Sainz and Russell. Oh. Okay. Red. Oh, red flag. Okay. Okay. Red flag. Red flag. Um, 28 laps left. I think we go medium, surely. 28 laps. Soft, softs are going to wear out. I think medium. I think medium. I feel good about the medium tire. I'm happy we've got another set of mediums, to be honest. For the second time today in Monaco. Lights out and away we go. Let's push. Oh my God. Take that, I'll take that off. Avoid high risk curves. Push, push, push. And Behrman has really pushed very hard because he's he's maybe overtaken O'Ward. No, O'Ward comes back at Behrman. O'Ward, I thought, I thought Behrman overtook O'Ward uh, right there and then, but no. O'Ward has been defiant and is keeping this position that he gained in the pit stops. Yellow flags behind and it's immediately a safety car. What is going on here? Oh my God. What is going on here? Absolute chaos at Monaco. Crash involving multiple cars. I'm not surp I'm surprised there's not another red flag. There's a massive pileup. Mercedes v McLaren. And then the McLaren's going to slow up everyone. Look at this. How is this not a red flag again? Surely it's another red flag. Oh, yeah. There you go. Two red flags. One red flag off the other. That's crazy. Okay. Take two, take two, or well, take three rather for the five red lights. All right, we go again. Um, I feel like, yeah, the mediums are fine. And we go again. Let's go for the third time in Monaco. Five red lights and we are underway. This time, all the instructions are there already. So can one of our drivers do something? Behrman and O'Ward side by side. They don't need to do each other favors. That's not helping either of them out, but Behrman gets his third place. Probably a place he should have got earlier because of uh, my pit stop uh, mistakes. Lando now is here in P5. So maybe he can do some work, but I think he's on the hards. No, he's on medium, sorry. Okay. All of us mediums, apart from poor chair and sock. Ooh. Poor chair's gone aggressive there. I think he's backing how much pace he's got. They can overtake Leclerc and then gap him and protect the tyres. But Lando on the same tyre as all of us. Watch out for that. Watch out for that. All right, let's speed this up. Let's see what kind of pace we got. Oh, Bear. Excuse me. Bearman overtook poor chair, even though he's on the softs. Okay, Bearman. Um, I was unfamiliar with your, your game today. Um, Bearman is on smoke around Monaco, it would seem. Leclerc fast after the Grand Prix, so Leclerc's really trying to pull away from us. And, uh, well, this will help him if poor chair is attacking us. And O'Ward might have Lando for company soon. Yep, there you go. Poor chair's overtaken us again. I'm actually quite surprised Behrman got him in the first place. Right, I'm pushing the drivers a bit. Lean on that uh, medium tyre with aggression. Uh, with no avoid risk curbs. And O'Ward is right up Behrman's arse, you know? Oh, O'Ward. I feel like O'Ward might even overtake Behrman. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, O'Ward gets Behrman here at some point. We're all gaining on poor chair, though. So poor chair's softs are wearing out. Ooh, 75%. Leclerc's tyres aren't good either. Could we still win this? Could we still win it? I think that... You know what? Let's believe it. I think the win is on. I think the win could be on. Well, let's try and get Behrman ahead of poor chair. And I ward pushing as well. Deploy. Let's try and get him ahead. Go, go, go. No. Don't want to make that move there. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Make it somewhere else on the main straight. There we go. There we go. Lovely, Behrman. Go on, on the outside. Ooh, the red ball comes back at him. Right, O'Ward is now ahead of Behrman. At some point, overtook him. I've been fast-forwarding, kind of expecting one of them to overtake poor chair, but it's just not happening. Poor chair now has refound some pace, and he is now once again within one second of Leclerc. So it's ever-changing, um, and I'm going to guess at some point, maybe Behrman goes for the repass on O'Ward. There we go. It's been done in a blink of an eye. Um, but poor chair is still unable to get Leclerc. 10 laps to go. Tire wear. We're so much better on tire wear. Okay, once again, Leclerc has found some pace. And once again, poor chair is, uh, is lacking pace. Maybe now 
Wow. No, this is really weird. Poor chair just keeps going really quick and then really slow. Maybe he's having to cool down those softs because Behrman retakes him and is now into second and can chase after Leclerc. And I'm thinking, let's just go for it. We've got the tire wear over him. Just push like a stabbed rat. You know what? Oh, Ward, push like a stabbed rat as well. Just go for it. Just go for it. Yeah, let's put pressure. I agree. I agree, engineer. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, here we go. Behrman in second place. Oh, Ward is gaining on... Uh, is, uh, is, is gaining on board chair, I should say. Behrman, though. Let's look for this move. Come on, mate. No, not yet. Not yet. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, Ward. Let's go deploy. Let's get poor chair here. And there you go. Behrman gets Leclerc. P1. Up the hill. He's loved this move today on the inside of Casino Square. He really has. And O Ward overtakes poor chair. We are absolutely cooking them. And O Ward gets Leclerc. 1 2. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. 1 2. Where has this come from? The red flag's done us a huge favor. It really has. And now it's O Ward versus Behrman for the win. Going to keep them on the exact same instructions. Do what you want to do, boys. Just please don't crash. Final lap, final lap. There's a bit of traffic here. Behrman overtaking an Aston Martin there. O Ward is going to lose time. That Aston has just lost him a heap of time. I thought that traffic may actually um, be to O Ward's aid, but looks like it's actually stopped him from maybe getting even closer to Behrman to making the move. So Oli Behrman, I think, is going to be looking for the win here in the Principality, the home favourite. He's fought so hard. He's still going to be on the podium. Third place for Alpine ahead of Paul Chair, who I think looked the quickest man most of today. But we just had that consistency, as always. Lando's recovered very well to P5. I think he could have won it if Ferrari qualified better. But it's going to be Ollie Behrman coming across the line. And it's a 1-2 for the Audi Sport team. Even when we don't have the best car. We are cooking. We have done it. Thank you, Javi. Thank you, mate. Oh, Honestly, honestly, does, does any team want to give us a proper challenge, huh? I'll take anyone. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. B1, B1. And Behrman leads the championship now by five points. Bad day in the office for Arrow of Archer GP. Eight points only. They got outscored by three other teams. That is uh, ouch. And that's to our benefit. That's even more to our benefit. And what a race for the board to attend, huh? One, two. Oh, that, you know what? We've actually, we've done bits there. We've got a one, two in front of the board members at Monaco. Absolutely lovely. They must love us. What's the, what's the board saying? Board confidence, they're, hi they're, they're high, they're delighted, they're everything. I'm going to make a new side pod for a very small upgrade, but still one that I think may be worth it um, eventually. One million for that. And then what else should we do? I think a we, ha we haven't done many front wings, have we? And that on 1.8 million. I think that's going to be enough for us. We've used all the ATR period again for a big chunky a load of upgrades there right monaco was pretty great I, I mean it was actually really really great but let's see how canada goes now usually a circuit obviously it is a circuit that i love in f1 and on this game as well uh even compared to the the driving f1 game is it was the place of our what was it our first podium our first win canada always has a special place in my heart but let's see if this Audi team now, on their own accord, can do well around here. What was qualifying saying? It, oh, you know what? I need to stop being like, oh, it's a bad quali. Because this team and this car has shown we can overtake. And we, and we will overtake, I think. Third and sixth, but let's see the rest of it. Poor chair. Looking for revenge from a Monaco Grand Prix win. That could have been his with some better management on that soft tyre or if he just chose the mediums, I think. Uh, Antonelli, second place. Lando up there, P4. Leclerc, P5. So, you know, th this is a bit of a pattern now we're seeing, you know. Porsche, Antonelli, Lando, Leclerc up there uh, all the time. And Colapinto now is, uh, is consistently doing pretty well for Red Bull in the top 10. Let's see how this goes, though, in the simulation. What's it going to be? I'm not going to base it off this ever again, ever again. <laughs> I've been duped too many times. It's, uh, oh, there you go. What did I say? What did I say? Teo Porsche with the revenge win after one he should have got in Monaco. Antonelli second, Leclerc third. So we're not on the podium here. And Leclerc 
actually fighting back against, you know, what I said at the start of maybe Ferrari's the one to look at. We, wait, hang on a minute. Because where is Ferrari? What's happened here? Lando P had nine places down. What's happened, Ferrari? Hey, I think, honestly, I think any team that's in that first place in the R&D chart in this game, they're just allergic to doing well, it would seem. Alpi now doing much better as the second best team. Leclerc on the podium. Antonelli pushes back against Behrman. It's very fine there. Only three points apiece. But overall, we're still in a good place. Yes, they've gained points on us. Red Bull have as well. But, you know, we've got that gap to be able to cushion the blow. But Alpine back up to fourth place in the Constructors. I'm so glad we did it inventory because we've got Zanvor literally next. How? What? How is that even possible? I feel like we just finished Canada and we I didn't even I didn't even simulate like th uh, two days and then we had a uh, an email pop up and now we've got Zanvor. How far are these upgrades? I mean, uh, oh, still quite some more. Well, you know what? We might not even get these upgrades till the very end of the episode, which might be in like two more races time. Zanvor qualifying's gone very well for Leclerc. Honestly, I'm not even joking now. I think there's a curse with this series of being the number one team. You want to be second or lower in the R&D chart because Leclerc and Alpine now are being way more consistent than they ever were. And Ferrari with the pressure of being number one. What is this? Eight and nine. What is going on? Antony's up there as always. Oh, Ward's actually done better than Behrman this time. Uh, and usual suspects in the top 10 for the rest of it. Let's see how this one pans out. Could Leclerc and Alpine finally get that elusive race win in this new partnership in 2028? They can! They can! Leclerc has got that race win for Alpine. Vindication for leaving Ferrari because Ferrari have only won one race so far this season with Lando. I mean, to be fair, speaking of the of the man, he's climbed up six positions, showing great race pace. Giovinazzi climbs four positions, so Ferrari really did have great race. Uh oh my god, no! Oh my god, no! I've just realised I can't even. Neither of our drivers are in the top ten. What's happened? What's happened? What? Oh, it's so over. Liquidate the whole team. Behrman, 11. One lap down. O'Ward, a lap... O'Ward, a lap down as well. What happened? What's happened in this... Uh, you boys are better have crashed. This is the only time I'll wish upon it, but you better have crashed. And that can't just be the pace of the car. Antonelli now gets a significant lead on Behrman. 15 points. That's not great for him. Constructors-wise, we score zero points. It's the first time it's a big dent taken out of us in the Constructors. Alpine are actually cooking now. They're up to third. They have slowly started to perform in the season. Oh, this could be a difficult episode yet, you know, by the end of it. By the, I thought, we, you know, after that one-two at Monaco, thought smooth sailing. We could still end the episode down. Voting for the sporting change, no pole position bonus. Uh, I'm for it, yeah. We, we voted it in. We can vote out. I don't mind. What happened here, though? Uh, okay, Behrman... Oh, was it the engine? Okay, the engine's quite worn. Maybe Behrman's engine went out. And then O'Ward... O'Ward's engine... It must have both been engine-related, then. Well, in good timing, we've got two facility upgrades. Oh, okay. Weather Center only came in now, then. I thought Weather Center was actually in there already before Monaco. But Weather Center and Team Hub upgrades coming in. Very, very nice. Yep, we're doing Austria as well. And Leclerc continues to perform now. Pole position. Back-to-back -back poles from Zandvoort to Austria. I fear... The villain arc for Leclerc is beginning at Alpine. Porsche second, Lando third. Good news for us, though. Arava Archer GP lower than both our drivers. So actually, even though Alpine, Red Bull, Ferrari are there, as long as we beat AA GP, Behrman beats Antonelli, this could still end up being a pretty decent race, actually, in this specific race weekend. Let's see, though. Is this the start of something for Leclerc? Some momentum. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? It is Porsche coming back. For the win, a second win in the episode. That's two for poor chair. Two. That's two for poor chair. One for Behrman, one for Leclerc. He slumps down to P4. Behrman's done very well to get on the podium because O'Ward only managed P10. What happened there? Lap down with everyone else.
What happened there? Um, Russell P4, Antonelli down in P6. That's surprising. So Behrman would have gained an okay amount on Antonelli there. Poor chair, though. Wow, he's up into third now with that win. Oh, Ward's got a bit of work on his hands. He wants to keep the third place in the championship. Constructors-wise, we only get outscored by four points to uh, AAGP. So that's fine. And you know what? We don't need to worry about the other teams at all because they still need to score 70 points to catch up to AAGP. So for us, we just need to focus in on outscoring or what the points margin is to, to this team every single time. Red Bull and Alpine fighting amongst themselves. They're up and swapping positions again. Ferrari solidifying fifth place because look at the gap now. McLaren and Porsche... Their, their fall off must be studied because they started off the season so strong and now it's, uh, well, only two points for Porsche. McLaren, zero points there. Nowhere near the lofty heights they were, although to be fair, McLaren were, were so high for so long. At some point, they had to come down. And now on cue, in time for the next race, which we will be managing, we get our side pod made or, or designed and Behrman grows to 90 Three. So I think that makes Behrman officially the joint best driver on this game, along with his rival, the man he's going up against, Kimi Antonelli. Oh no, I'm wrong. Sorry, Antonelli's grown to 94. Bloody hell. But Behrman on his own now, I think. Yeah, he's now one ahead of poor chair. Um, but Antonelli's gone even further. Okay, okay. Well, let's try and make this side pod in time, shall we? Four days. Oh god. Oh, rushing is that gonna do it oh no okay i feel like to push back against the opposition and because it's our well my home race i want to do well at silverstone let's with you know we know this team has money to blow so let's just make two emergency side pods 3.6 million i did it i did it i did it i don't i don't even have regrets get those new side pods on the car sponsor plan comes in it's going to be a nice little payday once again for us good engagement and uh oh this time zero money from the uh head of fuel aero advert that's fine that's fine how much money we got 32 million that's still that's still a decent chunk all right diving into the british grand prix race weekend q3 we are already at now and we have got Teo Porsche, Colapinto, the two Red Bulls, the two Ferraris, two AAGP cars, two Alpines, and two Audis. Very, very Noah's Ark here for the top 10 shootout. Let's go, Behrman. Come on, lad. Come on. It's your home race. Let's do Let's do your proud. Wait a little bit and then send now O'Ward behind Colapinto there. Right, new side pod, lads. I know it's only a tiny improvement uh, that we saw on the data, but I'm still hoping for well since well i don't want to you know sp speak a bit too boastfully but since i'm now managing you guys directly i'm hoping for a bit more than the last couple of races we've simulated there man with a little bit of traffic on his lap having to overtake leclerc but he goes p1 at the moment with a 123 6 but antonelli a bit quicker so a bit of time to find then let's see what oh god oh ward 2.8 second what happened to you pato are you, are you sure you did Silverstone? You didn't do a different circuit? <laughs> right, poor chair's gone quicker. He's provisional pole. Leclerc, second place. Let's send Behrman out now. And then O'Ward, there we go. Almost the last on track. The last person on track will be Leclerc, I think. But genuinely, poor chair and Leclerc, you know, they're the only two other drivers that have won races in this episode. And they are genuinely here fighting for the top spots again here in qualifying at the British GP, but hopefully the home crowd can energize Oli Behrman to the provisional pole, maybe with his lap. Let's see. And O'Ward just need him to pick up the pieces and pick up the pace a bit to at least get a top five. You know, that's all I'm asking. All right, Behrman, green first sector. Oh, yellow middle. Behrman only manages P4. Lando will be the... Oh! <laughs> what? What? Pato O'Ward! Oh my god! Ay ay ay! Pato! Oh no! Poor chair stolen it! I thought I was I thought it was gonna be an unbelievable celebration for Pato Award coming out of nowhere with a provisional pole, but poor chair has stolen the thunder! But where did that lap come come from, Pato? Where did that lap come from? Behrman, the pressure gets to him of his home race in the Audi. P6, Lando, lead 
British driver around Silverstone P5, Leclerc P4, Antonelli, O'Ward and Porsche on the front row. Interesting. Very interesting. O'Ward turning up in Ollie's backyard. Two stops all round, but with a bit of difference on the tyres used. I'm thinking... Uh... I'm, I'm thinking avoiding the soft, you know, or at least keeping it till the end. I feel like a medium hard soft might be the way to go. Do they have two mediums? I mean, ideally it would be medium, medium, but no, they don't have two mediums. I guess soft, medium, soft could work, but they have to. we have to be very careful the tire wear, but I guess that's something we're good at, but I don't know. I mean, I think Behrman, let's go aggressive for him. It's his home race. He needs to recover from sixth place to try and get on that podium. So let's go aggressive with him. Let's go on the soft at the start, but for uh, for O'Ward, I think from the front row, let's try and actually go for the win, be a bit smarter maybe with the tyre wear. Not to say we're not going to do that with Behrman, but I think just give him a better shot to go quick and overtake cars, basically, and they're getting to clean air. With O'Ward, I'll start on softs, that's fine. We'll go hards, then go medium. All right, here we go, lights out, and away we go. O'Ward on the front row. Can he get into first? Let's go aggressive. On the start. No, he's lost out to third. He's down to third. Antonelli has had a great start. He's up into second place. O'Ward manages to maintain third place. But Leclerc firing through side by side with Lando Norris. Behrman down to P7. That's not what we wanted. Poor chair leads the way then. Ah, oh, Behrman, what can you do? Let's go aggressive here as well. At the start. Come on, mate. Go on, get the overtake on Russell. Go on. No, what are we doing? What are you doing? What is that? Right, let's speed this up. Going through here. Right, O'Ward is just in third place. Behrman struggling to overtake there. Okay, there we go. Behrman up to P6. Lovely. All right, get those tire temps down, please. Get those tire temps down ASAP. Oh, yellow flags. Yellow flags. Oh, Russell's down the order. Russell's off. Behrman overtook Russell, I think, and uh, they made some contact potentially, but yellow flags behind for this incident between the Aston Martin and the Haas coming together at Village. But um, I think Behrman pushed Russell wide because he's down in P14. Oh, no, he locked up. Okay, fair enough. He just he just locked up. He was uh, he was actually fully ahead of Rus uh, Behrman. And, um, ooh, bad lockup for Russell. Really bad lockup. And so Behrman is up into P6. Right, now we can get our head down and chase after Leclerc. Oh, Ward is down to P5. Bloody hell, he got blitzed by Leclerc and Norris. As I try and cool down these tyre temps, Behrman down to P8. We're losing massive amount of time trying to cool down these tyres. Oh, no. What's going on, guys? What's going on? Oh, my God. Look how much time Behrman's lost. Look how much time Behrman's lost trying to cool down these tyres. And know Ward's only P6 now. Oh, our car is actually not that quick anymore. Bloody hell. Antonelli leads. Poor chair second. Lando third. Both Ferraris looking good, you know. GOP5, that's how you know Ferrari genuinely have a good car this race. Award P6, Behrman P8, struggling to stay ahead of Ocon and Colapinto of all people. Oh, the soft tyre is rubbish for us. Absolutely rubbish. Yellows. Oh, Gio spun. Oh, I just complimented him in Ferrari. And he's only got in spun. I mean, that's good news for us. It's a free position. But look at this. We're trying to save tyres. And we're still lower than Antonelli on the tyre wear. Come back, O'Ward. Come back. Come back at them. Come back at them. Okay, I think the pace is stabilising a little bit. O'Ward is being caught by Bottas and Ocon. Behrman's just fully behind Ocon and Bottas now. And these top, what's going on with these tyre temps? They've been yellow for so long. And O'Ward has been, it's been over. What are we doing here? He's been overtaken by Bottas now. What are these tyres today? You're looking strong out there, mate. No, we're not. We're not looking strong. Ah, oh, Behrman's lost two positions. Behrman's down to 10th. Behrman's down to 10th. Behrman's down to 10th. He's been overtaken by Colapinto. I think he's going to get done by the McLaren. I think he'll get re-overtaken by Russell, who locked up. That's a how... Oh, my God. We are getting absolutely embarrassed here. What? Where is the pace on these softs? Land Lando's into first. Lando's into first. Well, at least one British driver's doing well. Lando into first now. Antonelli's cooked those tyres. He was at one point 10% higher than most people, but he's down to second. Leclerc's up to third. Poor chair's fallen away. So the two people on the front row, not anymore. Oh, Ward, though, he's coming back a little bit at Bottas, at least, now that we're pushing on the on the ERS. But 
that will eventually run out, obviously. We can't push on ERS forever. So, um, it still begs the question, where is the goddamn pace? M and P9 looking to try and repass Colapinto. As Russell locks up again. Bloody hell. Russell is in the mud in this race. All right, O-Ward's ahead of Bottas, finding a bit of pace. And then it's gone. And then it's gone. Our tire wear is awful now. Our tire wear is awful. Our tire wear is so bad. We're in the 40s. What's going on? Did our new side pod make our tire wear so much worse? What is going on? O-Ward's up to P4. Behrman's scrapping with Bortoletto and Ocon. He hasn't seen them in ages in the season. Um, flat out attack. Flat out attack. Pit for mediums. Behrman comes in. O-Ward's going to pit on this next lap. I hope we have better pace on the hards. Or the mediums. Either one. We need more, way more pace. Way more pace. Yellow flags. No safety car. O-Ward's P6 right now. We're just, this needs to be a steady stint on hards and mediums for both Behrman and O-Ward. Behrman's up to P8, so he's finding a bit more pace. We're catching back up to Ocon and poor chair is falling away towards us. So poor chair, the pole sitter, not too far away from Behrman now. So that's actually quite positive. O-Ward's ahead of the, of the man he lost positions to. So it is maybe coming back to us a little bit. And O-Ward is looking to make the pass on Bottas. Let's go pushing a little bit. All right, the race is coming back to us a little bit. Behrman is now P7. He's ahead of poor chair. He's overtaken the man on pole. So this race is rapidly changing. Leclerc's leading. Antonelli second. Colapinto third, but I don't think he's pit yet. He's got a mechanical issue as well. Lando, who was leading, P6 now behind O-Ward. So we've, we've, we've uh, undercut the race leader with O'Ward. So there is a possibility things are coming back towards us. Behrman gets overtaken by poor chair. That, the, the soft tire pace was so bad. All right, sit rep lap 27. O'Ward is, well, still kind of swapping with Bottas, basically. Both of them staying good six seconds ahead of Lando, which is good. And the same story with Behrman. He's swapping with poor chair and Ocon now, apparently. Leclerc, P1, still hasn't come in off the medium. So he's going quite long. 27 laps on the mediums. Antonelli. Oh, did Antonelli pit? I thought Antonelli was yet to pit, maybe. So Antonelli basically is going to be the race leader. So after all of that, Ferrari probably kept Lando out too long. And now he's behind even us. And Antonelli's now got a free shot at the race win, depending on where Leclerc ends up. Right, O'Ward's into second place now. Yellow flags. Multiple cars crash. Please tell me safety car. 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 Bam, and I've used a lot of fuel. So he needs to save fuel now. But he's P3 on his own. A lot of people are pit now. A lot of people are pit. So I can't really... Well, Antonelli's obviously still going. Where is this race going to unfold? Leclerc's actually all, all right, you know. Investigation. Who for? Oh, Gio and Colapinto collided, apparently. There's a lot of people with problems in this race. Bortoletto, Piastri, Colapinto, Hamilton, Dewan, Aaron. Honestly, I forgot about Hamilton and McLaren. They've just been so silent in the last couple of episodes. The hard tire has been amazing for O'Ward, by the way. Look at the tire wear. On the, on the hard tyre. You can just really lean on the hard. It's a beautiful tyre. Right, Behrman's ready for his pit stop, but... Oh, actually, you know what? Let's go full out attack with Behrman and go hards. Full out attack for Behrman. Because I think going hards is the call for our team. And Behrman is going to overtake Leclerc. He's going to re-overtake Leclerc. I'll wait until he stops having pace. And then we'll come in. 120. Ooh, 120. About the same. Ignore that. Ignore that. Okay, we're going to come in now. Come in for hards. Yeah, chain strategy. Coming in for hards. I know it sounds a bit crazy with the laps we've got left, but come in for hards. Meanwhile, with O'Ward, we keep on going. We keep on going. This tyre is lovely. All right, Behrman's down P6. This is not bad. This is a good recovery. This is a good recovery. I hate the softs around Silverstone. Every one of their homies hates the softs around Silverstone. Bloody hell, that was a bad tyre. What was the last lap for O'Ward? 129.8. I think we come in soon. I think we come in soon for the, uh, for the mediums. Yeah, we get overtaken there. I think we come in. Mediums. Let's go, O'Ward. Let's go. Let's go. Coming in. Good pit stop. P5. Right Ahead of Behrman still. Behrman's P7 in the tail in that train. O'Ward is there. So we've got a, a, a poor chair sandwich going on right now. 
Right, Behrman's up to P4 now. He is loving those hard tyres. He's uh, getting overtaken by Lando, but Lando's got a car problem. So the Ferrari might be out of the running in this race with a car issue of some kind, making him slower. O'Ward has now got past Porsche. The medium's heating up and getting into a rhythm. I expect O'Ward to eventually get Behrman, though, because he's, he's, he's on the medium. And also Behrman, what's happened with this... Why is it, why have we got no ERS here? What's going on? So he did get ahead of Behrman. He got ahead of Porsche, but not by much, not by much. He needs to try and pull away, actually, if he can, please. Pull away, pull away, pull away. What's the gap there? 0 0.7. Keep pushing, mate. Keep pushing. Let's actually go a bit of attack. Get out of that DRS, man. Get out of that DRS. He's stuck with the DRS of Porsche. He's broken it now, thank God. And now Behrman needs to really make a move. There we go. We've got Behrman ahead. Good stuff. Good stuff. And now Behrman actually overtakes O'Ward. But two drivers very close together. Basically working as a team, slipstreaming each other. I'm going to push it everything. We've only got like four, uh, three laps to go. So push everything you got lads wreck those ties wreck those ties and poor chair what we're wrecking the ties and poor chair overtakes us bloody hell oh, it's because he's on the softs ah softs 48 percent should be slower than us right now surely surely O'Ward back into p4 by the way gone under the radar both alpines on the podium here what happened here though do these two they've done a one stop soft to medium one stop around Silverstone. That is mental. How have they done that? What? That's crazy. That is absurd. And how we're still trying to get past poor chair is beyond me. Honestly, we should be flying past him. Oh, poor chair. What? How has this happened? Antonelli's won it, by the way. Leclerc second. Poor chair on the last lap has managed to snag third. Bottas has fallen off the cliff. Can you get him, please? O'Ward oh, through the last corner, please. No, you serious? How has poor chair done that? He set the fastest lap of the Grand Prix on his old softs. And we just ran out of fuel on the line with O'Ward. Oh, that's, that must be the most confusing British Grand Prix ever. None of the tyres made any sense. None of the stints made any sense. How have the Ferraris end up P8 and 9? Leclerc bought us P24. How did any of that occur? How did these guys pull off a one-stop? Crazy. I don't know what just happened. That was... Very confusing as a race. And annoyingly, Antonelli gets a win. Behrman only P6. That was a tough race. That was a tough race. Even with our management, that was tough. And Antonelli gets a hold of the Drivers' Championship uh, with a bit of a commanding lead now, constructors-wise. Well, you may be wondering why we've just cut to now Silverstone. PC crashed. PC crashed. Uh, and I lost the this the the auto save that i had um to add more insult to injury for that british grand prix and have to simulate it and let the game decide what the result's actually going to be apologies if you find that frustrating but um uh nothing i could do i uh, really factory fire great we didn't have that last time now we do oh god damn it i think i need i think it's time for a new pc you know my uh, my pc now is I think well, over three years old, uh, when you're a content creator, putting it through the walls every single day, rendering, playing games, etc. Maybe due for an upgrade um, because it has been giving me some problems uh, lately um, like this. Uh, bloody hell. Right. Let's see what it's going to be. Well, the qualifying's worse, so I fear the race is going to be worse. So don't worry. Looks like I won't be finessing my way into a better result this race. It might actually be worse than what I managed myself. Oh, uh, what's it gonna be? Oh, Antonelli wins and Behrman's P8. It's worse. It's so much worse. Oh, Ward's not even there. Oh, for goodness sake. Where is he? P11. Lando second. Poor chair. Alpine got screwed over. They had a much better result. Uh, Colapinto in this one, P4. That's a madness. So Behrman loses even more points to Antonelli. And O'Ward is now down to fifth place in the championship. Bloody hell. Construct it. Okay, now, now we may have to start worrying about this, about this championship. Bloody hell. And the thing is, we brought upgrades. We, we brought as much upgrades as we could using ATR period, you know? Like, I used the full ATR periods 
for the two upgrades we had before. Now we've got these ones coming in, the front wing. Let's do another set if we can. Um, but, oh, and the factory fire. Brilliant. Okay, let's at least design some parts. It's going to be such a tiny marginal gain, but we'll go for it. We'll uh, we'll rush the upgrade. 20 days time. Get that done. Probably going to have to be an emergency manufacturer. And we're going for a new chassis upgrade, which will be a positive. Let's rush that. 15 days to design that one. That's pretty good. Factory fire, though, is going to do us a bit on the uh, spending needed for these upgrades. Ah, oh, the factory fire is done now, finally. So we can make this front wing. Design's going to get done the chassis, so now we can make that. Let's go... And make that. Hopefully that can get done in time. Yes, it will. Ooh, just about. Can I rush two of them in? 12 days. Okay, gonna have to do one normal. Oh, actually, you know what? First, one emergency, 2.2 million. That's a lot of money to spend, but needs must. We need upgrades and then one normal. Down to 29 million. It's fine. We got money. We got money. This is what... You know what? Maybe the game was preparing me for the, uh, with all the money we're earning because it knew we would have to bring a monumental amount of upgrades We've, we've been doing a steady stream, but we really need a lot here. I mean, into Hungary, we're going to have three new upgrades because we're going to get the rear wing done in time as well. So after that Silverstone race where we lost a lot of points in that new simulation to, to AGP, Bam and to Antonelli, three upgrades on the car. Three upgrades on the car. You can't say we're not upgrading. Heavy rain in the race. That could be a game changer for us, maybe. How's qualifying gone? How's qualifying gone? Bam in third. We needed that. Award P10, though. That is not promising. That's not what we needed. But Behrman P3 with Antonelli. That's good at least. Poor chair in first place for Red Bull. Leclerc's up there. Ferrari again. Kind of very similar to what we had in the actual uh, first Silverstone race we did in terms of the, the players here. Heavy rain in the race. Could help us. Could help us. Oh. It's better. It's better than Silverstone. It's not. It's okay. It's okay. P4, P6. Good recovery from Pato. Antonelli outscores us again. Lando on the podium. Poor chair with another win this season. Poor chair is closer to Behrman than Behrman is to Antonelli now. I actually think next episode, we need to bring some big daddy upgrades. We need to be coming back at people. We need to be back to winning ways because Behrman's going to say goodbye to the Drivers' Championship, if not. Constructors-wise, that's better. But now, still after Silverstone, AAGP are within 50 points. That's a bit more like, you know, ugh, a bit close. So... Oh, well, you know what? What a weird mega episode this has been. You know, we started off with an amazing 1-2. We finessed our way into a 1-2. And then the rest of the episode's been a slow decline of the team. Even though we bought, like, what? Overall, like, five upgrades over the course of these races. And the situation didn't get any better because I'm guessing... Well, I'll splash up the R&D chart. I, I can't see it right now in front of my eyes, but I'll splash it up for you guys in the editing. I'm assuming what's happened is other teams have just more rapidly upgraded out, out upgraded us. So next episode, we're going to have to be absolutely on it to try and salvage Behrman's Drivers' Championship run and try and put a stop to the momentum that AAGP is getting on us in the season as they try and close us down. Guys, if you have enjoyed the big mega episode, then be sure to let me know in the comments below and hit the like button. If you're around here, then do get subscribed for weekly Formula 1 content. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.